Hi dear friends, welcome back to Manso channel. Today we are going to discuss about the difference between hyperthermia and hyperpyrexia. I am Mr. Manoj. Let's move to the topic hyperthermia. The word hyper indicates more or increase and the word thermia indicates temperature. The meaning of hyperthermia gives us increased body temperature more than the normal. It may be not to the causes of the fever, it may be other causes like exposure of our body to a hot environment. Next we will move to the hyperpyrexia. The word hyper here also that indicates more or increase and the pyrexia word gives us fever. The total meaning of hyperpyrexia is the body temperature rises more than the normal. Hyperpyrexia occurs mainly due to the entry of microorganisms, not because of exposing the body into the hot environment. The entry of microorganisms such as bacteria, virus, fungi and protozoa can cause the hyperpyrexia. Let us move to the types of hyperthermia. There are five types of hyperthermia. The first one is heat tetany and the second one is heat ash. And the third one is heat cramps. And the fourth one is heat excursion. And the fifth one is heat stroke. And also hyperpyrexia has five types. The first one is intermittent fever. Second one is remittent fever. Third one is continuous fever. Fourth one is hectic fever. And the fifth one is relapsing fever. Now I am going to explain in detail about the types of hyperthermia. The first one is heat tetany. What is heat tetany is when you expose your body into a hot environment, maybe in a sunlight for a long period. That leads to giddiness and there may be chances to get faint after some. The second one is heat rash. When you expose your body into a hot environment or heat for a long period there may be chances to get excessive sweating that leads to skin irritation the third one is heat cramps that means when you when you do exercise in a hot environment there may be chances to get muscle pain and also there may be chances to get spasm on your muscles the fourth one is heat excursion that word says that the tiredness due to the heat and also when you expose your body into a hot environment there may be chances to get three signs and symptoms like heavy sweating, rapid breathing and weak pulse. The fifth one is heat stroke. It occurs when the body becomes unable to control its temperature by itself and here the body temperature raises within 10 to 15 minutes more than 40 degrees Celsius. Now I am going to explain in detail about the types of hyperpyrexia. The first one is intermittent fever. The intermittent fever says that our body temperature usually touches normal in the daytime and it will be rises in the nighttime. Example of intermittent fever is malaria. The second one is remittent fever. That means the body temperature of the patient raises and it will be the same for throughout the day with fluctuation of 1 degree Celsius and at any cost of the time the body temperature will not touch the normal. Example of remittent fever is infective endocarditis. The third one is continuous fever. That means the body temperature raises above than the normal throughout the day with the small fluctuation of 1 degree Celsius. Example of continuous fever is viral fever. The fourth one is hectic fever. That means the body temperature of the person raises and there will be a small swings ranges rises from above 1.4 degree Celsius. And the example of this hectic fever is pyelonephritis. The fifth one is relapsing fever. That means short episodes of fever that may last for a 3 to 10 days. Example of this relapsing fever, it happens due to tuberculosis and the fungal infection. Let us move to the causes of hyperthermia. There are four causes. The first one is exposed body into 
too hot environment and the second one is certain drugs intake and the third one is higher humidity and the fourth one is epilepsy epilepsy is also called as convulsions or fits let's move to the causes of hyperpyrexia there are few causes like infections such as pneumonia urinary tract infections skin infections etc and stds that means sexually transmitted diseases drug abuse cancer rheumatoid arthritis viral infections sinusitis and chicken pox let's move into the signs and symptoms of hypothermia and hyperpyrexia there are some common signs and symptoms like muscle pain vomiting and weakness and also there is a different signs and symptoms for hypothermia that is about shivering skin hot skin rash decreased responsiveness poor appetite body pain fainting and weakness different hyperpyrexia signs and symptoms like rapid heart rate sore throat sore eye nausea profuse sweating and dizziness let's have a look of hypothermia management the first one is we have to bring the person from the hot environment or the hot area into a cool area and make them to lay down in a floor maybe the firm surface if the clothes are tightened make them loosen if there is a fan or air conditioner just make it on spray the water on their face or body to make them cool use cold sponging to reduce the body temperature ask the person to take some cold beverages like liquids or water make the person comfortable as much as possible let's have a look of hyperpyrexia management on that first thing we have to do is cold compression or cold sponging to make the body temperature to cool down and ask the client to drink plenty of fluids that helps to reduce the body temperature third one antipyretics may be given to reduce the body temperature what is antipyretics here is the drug which given for a fever example paracetamol avoid using heavy blankets that may increase the body temperature and wear the light weighted clothings that helps to reduce the body temperature may be antibiotics to be prescribed to reduce infections blood test to be advised to rule out exact causative organisms the last step semi liquid is advised to till fever comes down and also provide adequate rest to the client thank you for listening my class if you have any doubt regarding this class please make a comment thank you